Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make green slime using two household ingredients. Uh, it's going to be less toxic than using Elmer's glue and borax. Uh, if you interested to see how to do that, I can make that video too, but this is a little different way of doing it. It's a lot easier because you probably have these two things uh, sitting around your house. I don't know anyone that has borax just sitting around their house. Uh, we're going to start with the two ingredients. First, baking soda, doesn't matter what brand, and simple dish washing soap that you can find anywhere. Uh, you're going to want to make, we'll start simple. And then you can increase the dosage, if you will, to suit your purposes. For today, we're going to make about one third of a water bottle full. And again, this is something you can experiment with. You can do different colors and different thickness of the slime itself. I'm going to go with eight teaspoons. I'm going to do it over the bag so that when I spill it, it won't be such a mess. One, two, that was only kind of half, we'll call it three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I want to caution, caution anyone out there not to eat this. I know it's soap, but you would be amazed what people will do. Just because it looks pretty doesn't mean it's edible. Now once you get everything in the bottle, you're going to shake it up really good. And even though it may look like I used a glow stick, that's actually just the natural chemical from the soap. I've been thinking about experimenting with putting a glow stick in this, but we haven't done it yet. Okay, now once you get it all shook up, also the cool thing about this is like most any mixture with liquid, if you let it sit for a few minutes, it's going to thicken up. And at that point, you'll have the, the gooey pull apart slime. But since I don't want to make you wait, here's the end result. Now what you want to do is pour it on a plate, stick it in the refrigerator for about five minutes, and it'll harden. Um, from what I've been able to tell, this will last for about a month. At that point, it'll just kind of break down and disintegrate back into nothing. Depending on how thick you want the slime is how much baking soda you put in it. I put eight in, and it's a little thin. It may actually take this a while to thicken up. But I would say pretty much for a full water bottle full, you would want to use a little box of baking soda. That would be about right. Once you put that in the refrigerator and it thickens up, it becomes flexible and you can almost use it as a frisbee. Okay, that's today's science trick. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, don't eat the slime.